<laughs> Smell my finger. Welcome back, everybody, to Paper Mario and the House in Your Door. I started going through Hooktail Castle, and then I realized my microphone wasn't working for some god-awful reason. Like, it just decided, hey, what if I just didn't? And I don't know the reason why. There, there was literally no reason for it. So, I reset the game. I didn't make it very far into the castle. There's a badge here. Use Koops to grab it. It's HP up for Mario if you want to use it. Okay. Here we go. Let's find a way to get past that broken bridge. Sometimes you gotta go back when you can't go forward. And that's what we're gonna do. So, hop up here. Airplane, yada yada. Microphone, you are working now, right? Okay. Now the question is, is the, is the game audio working? I'm not picking it. Probably go in where there's music first. Looks like the bridge has been out a while. Even so, this castle seems so majestic, you know? So big and strange. Okay, game audio was picking up. Good lord, what the hell? This is a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't say I'm a fan of the bone pile decor. I don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? Okay, now we begin the castle. Again. And... No longer my reactions to hearing the new battle theme. For the first time- ooh, this guy has a badge this time. Yeah, I was shocked by this new battle theme in here. They're doing the Origami King thing, where every area gets its own theme, it seems. Get rid of that one with the badge. Bingo time! Okay, well in this timeline, my first bingo was a mushroom. Also, like the first timeline, it didn't really matter much. I mean, hey, bigger audience. But that only lasts for this battle. It'll go back to whatever my current number is based on my current ratings, I guess. Damn, mushrooms again. Maybe this is, means this timeline will be luckier and more blessed or something. Damn it. Again, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I just... You put it in front of me, I'm gonna go for it. little flute at the end of this victory jingle I like to. Like, alright, they're going pretty extra for Dungeon 1. Well, no badge, but we get a Fire Flower this time. D -d -d oh, God. Well, never mind. This timeline's worse. Ha <laughs> Never mind. Fuck you. Get this paratroopa entry again. That's a Koopa paratroopa. Well, um, basically a Koopa troopa with wings. HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. Kind of hate that this guy gets the fly. Of course, you can stomp him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa troopa. Yeah, do that in his hours. Stomp again and flip him and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, not true. Looks like he can still wiggle them around a little bit. Ha <laughs> Bingo time!
Get their asses! Alright, and I'll be taking that. Gimme. Really need to fight this guy. Fuck it. Knock them all down. Let's get rid of Mr. Pow Block here. one point away from leveling. Sorry, I just wanted to give you false hope. Get back down. Forever. all these mushroom rolls I'm getting. Whatever, I'll take it. Ooh, piece of candy. I guess that's a dungeon beyond us. Heck, there are bones scattered everywhere. Mmm, mold and dust, great. You could totally choke on the stench in this place. They remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. It is my father. Dad! You know what your father's skeleton looks like? Um, wait, what's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Do it, pussy! Um, wow. Okay. Dick. I'll read it. <clears throat> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking creatures that begin with F and end with Rog. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find whatever that thing is. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Oops. Um, yeah, guess this isn't my father after all. But if this is my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Alright, you need to calm down. You'll go back on the bench for a bit. Coops' is dad? No, I don't think so. What a creepy pile of bones. I mean, they're all creepy, but this one's super creepy. And this is about where I realized my mic wasn't working. I don't really feel like taking a look at it, but if we don't, we'll never get farther. <clears throat> also, I realized a bit was missing from that letter from the original English translation. It was a part like, she'll use any trick to save herself. 
do not give in to your kinder nature. But that part was taken out. Interesting. <laughs> you clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no farther, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Ow! Watch it, Pushy! So these numbskulls, they're shoving me around. Oh, what should we do? Dicks! How are we supposed to move with all these guys in the way? Can you hammer them out of the way, Mario? See, so yeah, also an interesting thing about the letter is, uh... That Hooktail's weakness is frogs again. In the English release, it was crickets. I remember in the original demo of the game, much like, uh... How, Chris, how Petal Meadows was Crystal Star Fields. Um, Hooktail's weakness was frogs in the letter, but then the game released and it became crickets. So it's interesting to see it go back to frog. And that's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? HP 5, attack 3, defense 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to zero HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie! My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Wow, I, I kind of like just panic guarded. All right, well, well, she'll heal from this level up. Goodbye. Backwards this set of levels. BP to HP instead of HP to BP. Was level four. So if I was doing my usual balance, I'd go to HP next, but eh, I'm good enough at this game. This must be the Great Hall of Hooktail Castle. I'd say it's the center of the castle. This place is so full of traps and dangers. Nope! This entry. That's a dull bones. Sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa. Once. HP 1, attack 2, defense 1. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. Roger that! Wow, the guard's a bit more generous in this remake. Hmm, the timing on his stylish seems a little different. Maybe it's just me. Correct.
Goodbye, Bone Lords. And our first Shine Sprite. Stone block. Looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. You might need a stronger one. This must be the Great Hall. I'd say it's the center. So full of tri- yeah, alright, alright. Does she have anything to say about these? That's a lift switch. Hit it to ride a lift block of the same color. quality of life thing that it marks where you launched Coops at. Castle key red, so the different keys are color-coded now instead of just all duplicate keys. Maybe to prevent some speedrunning shenanigans. The Grand Staircase. This is Hooktail Castle. You feel that upward-moving draft in here? Wow, sure is a big castle. Who do you think built it? So many questions. These are the dungeons of Hooktail Castle. I don't think they're in use, but still, yuck. Oh, damn it. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, some audience. Well, a audience member left because of that. Ineffective move. Just clean these guys out. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, all right. Fuck that guy.
This is a black chest. Wonder what's inside this one. Oh, dang. Hey, yes. It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. <clears throat> huh? You heard me? Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Mm-hmm. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, fucks, I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. <clears throat> I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy! Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse, folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, yeah, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Finding a key like this is hard. You know the deal. I'll help you out, you help me out. Back scratching all around. You feel the urge to be a pal, see if you can find the key to this chest. Well, that was easy. What a weird room. There's just gotta be something hidden here. And again, every room in this castle is totally weird. This is a treasure chest. What could be inside it? Mario, look at that! They look even sharper and pointier in this. Oh, this isn't good. Hurry, run for it! They give you so much time for this. Ah, oh, she doesn't say anything about it. Or is that- or if your partner say something only if it's, like, very close. What do you think, Mario? Should we open that chest with the key we found? Hey there. Boy, I'm so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. No, wait, don't do that! Look, you found the key, now just use it to open this box! <laughs> Fools! Oh, god damn it! Why only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that? This castle's trapped within anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you'll fade it to waste away to a slow, painful end! But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse! No charge! Oogly googly boo! <laughs> now you curse, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursely cursed worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold ZR! <laughs> what a curse who curses like me, no one. Now I'll show you just how frightful a curse it is. Press and hold ZR now. <laughs> just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. You'll be all papery there while you press ZR. You'll try to jump a move and you'll probably just wobble there. 
Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yeah? Good farewell, you dumbbells! <laughs> what the fuck is with these guys? <sighs> yep. And we're just gonna take this. Changes the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound froggy. Interesting. Froggy! Let's just make our way over here again. Grab this key. Fucking sound, I've been squeezing through holes now. Gaggy. Listen to the original. Ribbit. You want to try using my ability if you're in trouble? for that. There's like an instrument in the background of this that I don't recognize. Was it like my old TV or something that just didn't quite properly play it? I don't know. something if you drop here? I think there is. Yes! Oh, and you could have also... Yeah, you could have also done this to get it. Instead of having to drop down and then climb back up. <laughs> if I can make the jump. Pretty sure you can make that. Can I fall off? Nah. I don't think there was anything on this side, was there? Nah. Bye, Coops. Hi, Coops. Okay, don't swing, Mario. I totally pressed B. Okay, only two. We don't need to do anything special here. Ugh. 
Uh, readjusting legs. Ugh. Life Shroom, hell yeah. I loved the battle theme variations in Origami King. It's cool they're doing it for this. Alright, let's just clean these guys out. Turn on your brethren, Poops. Oh, yeah. definitely want this. Alright, oh, it also works if your teammate goes down in this game. So you could kind of waste it on them. If you can call saving your friend's life wasting. Only I matter! Remember that. This is Hooktail Castle. There's an upward moving draft in this room, too. Of course, tons of bones lying around, too. This place needs a decorator stat. You never know which bones are gonna attack, so be careful where you walk, okay? Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. The queen. Huh? Oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Huh? Who are you? Me? Why I miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? I'll tell you what, Miss Ugly Pink Shoe Whatever Thief. We are here to beat Hooktail. And just so we're clear on this, we set our sights on the Crystal Star before you, okay? Crystal Star, you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. <laughs> Shoot! Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Let us? Let us? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, uh. <laughs> it means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met and already it's time to say farewell. Alas. Hey, stop that smooching! Who do you think you are, kissing Mario? Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll help you best hooktail. Or, so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already? Maybe not. If you're going to fight hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get together again real soon. <laughs> What is with that girl? There's no way you'd fall for all that flirting, right, Mario? Mm. Right, Mario? Mm. Wood. Mario.
Open chest. It's empty. But yes, as you might have figured out by now, this is the secret weapon against Hooktail. This is Hooktail's treasure room. Miss Malice is looking for something here, but I don't think there's anything left. I don't know, it went a little too crazy with that remix. I feel like I like her original theme more. That's a lift block. Hit the same color switch to turn it on and ride it. You know how this works already. Why are you asking me? This is Hooktail Castle. The door up on that platform to the right is hard to reach. You want to try using my ability? So it can be any partner who gets the current suggestion, depending on where you are. Fucking hit the actually dead ones. Get there, Asus! No survivors! Change the timing on that. Stylish, I can't get it. Ow! Oh, go god! I was not prepared. Oh, well, there goes my FP refill. Son of a bitch. Two where he uses three. They definitely changed the timing on that one. Ah. Should have blocked. I really ate it there. level up before hitting the boss. It'll be close. Depth perception, you bitch. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da.
There's not a way to, uh... I'm gonna have to climb back up. Or... Did they add a shortcut here? Oh, that's nice of them. That's new. Actually, no, keep that down, because that gives me an, a quick way back up here. Could pop that. I think I'm pretty close to the end, and I might get a level up here. And there's another heal block right before the boss anyway, if I don't hit the level. Yes, I am a stingy bitch, I know. Mario, take a look at this. It's like you could reach out and touch the sky, huh? Looking out from the heights makes my head go goomby. I mean, I mean, goony. It, fuck you! Oh, yeah, yeah, some timings are definitely different. Yeah, I think I'll I'll hit the level up. Oh, that might have actually been a mistake. Ah, fuck it. Bingo heal. Yeah. Pretty sure there's another enemy, so yep. I'm pretty sure they'll give more than fucking three XP. Or oh god, was it just those two groups? I feel like I remember another one. It's getting darker. I don't think it did that in the original, did it? 
Oh, yep, there he is. Son of a bitch. And I can actually aim my hammer down in this version. Well, this is about to suck. Ah. ah, fuck. Yeah, I can't guard or anything while we're asleep. Oh, this blows. Alrighty, give me that level. Yeah, this block's even cheaper than the one inside. Well, not need that. Frog mode's equipped. <sighs> Let's dance, bitch. Who dares approach me? Ooh, I like what they're doing with the lighting here. Didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? <coughs> that you're so small and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. After gnawing on the bottoms of your feet, I'll saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Versus Hooktail. Snack time, little appetizers. When which of you morsels should I taste first? Eat frog hammer. 
that awful sound. It sounds like a frog. How did you know? Ugh, I got really bad ugh, food poisoning once when I ate a frog. I hate them. Oh, fight it, Hooky. Just hearing the sound of them makes me feel woozy. And that, I think, lowers her defense. And her attack, which is very high for a Chapter 1 boss this early in the game, if you don't use that. Yeah, 5. But now it's 4-0, her stats. That's Hooktail. HP 20, attack 5, defense 1. She'll stomp and munch on you when she has a more dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. She's tricky, especially when she's losing. She'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. She hates things that start with F and end with Rog. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in the castle. We did find it, right? Ow! Alright, but with no defense, power bounce her ass. Damn it. Not my best performance. Uh, my snack gag. So very woozy. Yeah, that multi-jump really fucked up her stats. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, no, this timeline is the lucky one. Wow, I choked. Okay, they made power bounce harder in this version, I swear to god. Also, Hooktail's a weird target. Her hitbox is kind of odd. Ow. It seems like you want to block earlier in general in this version of the game. <coughs> Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 10,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend! What? You must be choking. You don't want any coins? Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind and yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it, bitch! Uh, really? I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? One-time offer. That is, uh, maybe just a quick sniff. <laughs> thought so. No nostril contact, though. Now come here and sniff. Give me them piggies! Ow! Bitch! <laughs> you were completely duped by my ingenious ruse. <laughs> that is so low! You senseless yokels. Nothing in life is that easy. Your gullibility did you in! Ah, this still isn't looking so good. Guess I'd better... I'm like, I haven't taken her deal in so long. I don't remember what she says. Ugh, this fucking game. That's just terrible! Ah, <laughs> oh, now my strength is returned to me. That's it, enough of this. Let's finish her off once and for all, Mario! Kill this bitch! I know I always feel so faint every time I hear a frog. Stay 
smell that bitch! If you won't let me smell them, I will crush them! But, but I... 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 <coughs> oh, well, I still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. No one denies Mario his piggies. Yes, we did it, Mario. All we have to do now is search that crystal star we can't seem to locate. Ugh! I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa, it, it can't be. It? D dad Well, it is a coop. Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I last saw you. Well, yeah, I, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, she used the smell from her feet to stun me, then gobbled me down whole. Okay, in the original translation, he just said, The Fiend used a dirty trick on me and gobbled me down while I was distracted. Oh. Oh, he went for the feet. <laughs> this fucking game! <laughs> it's all feet? Always has been. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. God damn, these things are acid resistant. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck. So glad to finally get out. <laughs> I'm amazed you were able to keep track of the passage of time in there. Honestly, Dad, everyone's been so worried about you this whole time. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Speaking of which, what are you all doing here, anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. We came here to defeat Hooktail. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I was gonna keep it as a souvenir. But if this is the thing you've been looking for, you can have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Coops' friend, right? Please take it. Oh, yeah. Obtained the Diamond Star. And have learned Earth Tremor. Chapter 1 complete. Using the magical map they received from Princess Peach, Mario and his friends claimed their first crystal star. The deadly dragon Hooktail defeated, the citizens of Petalburg would rest easy once again. Koops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. And yet, despite victory in the castle, Princess Peach's whereabouts were still unknown. Where could she be? Yes, it seems Mario's adventure has only just begun. Oh, it just auto-saves instead of being like, do you want to save and continue or save and quit? <laughs> oh, great exalted Grotus! We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir! Well, my pet, isn't it about time you told us where the map is? <laughs> Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to! 
I'm telling you, I don't know. <clears throat> There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We ex noughts are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars. And they defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustached dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario. Oh, no! <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understood? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll show up where we're hunting for a crystal star, Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the search. It must not fail! Was that? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit... out there. Hmm... x not. I summon you! You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus? Dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus? Sir? Shut up! Go get the three shadows over here. They're not the shadow sirens anymore? The three sh shadows, sir? B but they... I don't care how you planned to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now! Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to! It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, she was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. <laughs> That's a new line. Hurry not! All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you that map is vital to the x not plan? I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. And now hear me, Peltum. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker! <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come, we've got a job to do. <laughs> uh. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick. Again. But hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught.
It's softer than I expected. At least I'll be sleeping comfortably. Looks freshly scrubbed and sparkly clean. How oddly considerate of them. Wow, someone did a thorough job in cleaning this. What a lovely shower. No soap scum, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. I feel like a new princess. I mean, at least her prison is comfy. Kind of wish she kept the ponytail if you used the shower. Mm, not opening. <gasps> what was that? Hey, how odd. The door's opened by themselves! Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. So this place is extra shiny, which I should have figured. It doesn't work. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd! Do, 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 do. Added a little bit of the, the castle theme there as well. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the TEC-XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus, wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran a diagnostic programs, and their solution was... I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible! It, it can't be! You're a computer! What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're... In love? With me? Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy. Smiling. Having fun. When you love someone... You will do anything to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but... 
My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please, if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I cannot believe this! You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I could even begin to enjoy my vacation! And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love?! I should spit on your screen! You'll grant my wishes! <laughs> Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion, I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Did you send it? That girl typed fast! Message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Um... Okay then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. So now we start getting the Peach storyline. Also, meanwhile... The mighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! But now that I'm here, damn it, you crusty old hag! Why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Please, your gassiness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear. Fuck you! Greetings, your huffiness! The hack, Emmy Koopa, will be arriving any moment. So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Ooh, I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? <laughs> Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share! I'm not funny, sir! He's not funny, sir. Back Sprite Bowser is weird. Ugh, man, I'm attractive. Every time I look at this, I'm overwhelmed by its coolness. When I take over the world, I'm going to stick these statues all over the place. Yeah. Lord Bowser, I've been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups. And don't stop until even your hammer has abs! Boy, do I even have a less handsome side. Anywhere you look at this, it's perfect! When this world is mine, these statues are gonna be mandatory in all households! 
Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Wow, what a profile. Although, this thing could use a good dusting. Huh? Looks like the eye's a little loose. Incredible! A statue's eye is a jewel! I got the Bowser jewel! Just kidding. Hail Lord Bowser! Goddamn right. <laughs> Fucking noises. Ah, Lord Bowser! <sighs> I just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now, out with it! Why have you called me here? And who is this handsome mustachioed fellow? Hey, good looking. Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. <clears throat> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Roadport. Is that my Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing! Are you gonna call him every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario's gone in search of star shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? Sound like good world conquering tools. I want them! Mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. And by the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Fucking love them. Do I love love? Will fucking devour the world supply! But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Long hide! A picnic? Get serious! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please, calm down! Remember, you have blood pressure! Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach and Robot! What? Tell me you're lying, Kemi. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing? Besides me. I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. The one thing most certainly confirmed, however, the princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to report now. I've got to kidnap her back. <laughs> the Origami King theme in this remix. <laughs> Your grandiness, wait up. And now King Sexy, I mean King Daddy, I mean King Dumbass has entered the fray. Coops, my lad. <clears throat> Are you telling me you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this, you are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Um, yeah? But, what, what do you... Uh, of course, uh, whatever. Koops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <laughs> I decide if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. 
I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Well, let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the valves in your door. Then the stars will light the way that lead to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine and point toward the next in line. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the Thousand Year Door... So that means the location of the next star will appear on that magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go! I'm realizing her book, yeah, is a bit more vague. In the original translation, it did just straight up say crystal star. No matter where it is you go, son, just know that your old Koopa's rooting for you. Do your best, dear Koops. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, Murphy, I was sure that you could get that crystal star. Holy shit, I thought he was going to die. Huh? You say you beat Hooktail. That's incredible. Amazing. Guess that means your adventure's finally over, huh? What? It's only just begun. Wow, really? In that case, you better stock with more items. I bet they'll come in handy. Wait, what'd you say? You defeated Hooktail, too? You really are cool, mister. Hey, wait a minute. Could you be that super famous guy? That guy named Luigi! Yeah, you look just like him! I'm right, aren't I? What do you mean Koops' father was living inside Hooktail's stomach? Wow, Koopley rules! Hooktail bit off more than she could chew this time. Take care of your Koops, will you, Mario? Looking forward to the day my boy comes home a full-grown Koopa. That's Koops' dad, Koopley. He seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopas space cadets? And again, Koops is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad is like this. Anyway, Koopley does worry about Koops a lot, so I guess he's a good dad after all. Take care of Koops, please. Oh, <sighs> scent of this grass is healing properties, I swear. Just takes me to a happy place, know what I mean? You think so too, right? If you say so. Fair enough. Alright, grab this while we're here and can slide through here now. Mega Rush P! Grab another tea leaf. Juice, the fearful hooktail is gone and everyone is of good cheer once again. I truly hope that now people will begin to visit this village once more. Are the Traveler Sisters still here? Nah, they're gone. Hey, I gotta say, I'm really long minded to do GameCube. Best system ever, am I right? I think so too. Anyway, I saved up for a new game, the sequel to Paper Mario. Just got started, but it's a blast so far. A blast! You beat Hooktail? Wow, so hey, dummy, find any treasure? Oh, okay. They say the Koopas who perish there are cursed to place that they regret. So anyone who claims the treasure will lose all his strength. Yeah, nasty, huh? What do you think? You scared now or what? Eh, I'm just messing with you. Yeah, chapter one comes to a close. Your dialogue's still the same, probably. This life of a purpose. I must apologize. I ask you to leave me alone. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. Everything here is one of a kind. Someone has not gotten the news. Ah, another lovely day. The glorious sun shines down and my heart sings. You know, I bet there's a whole world we know nothing about past Hotel Castle. Wait, don't tell me. I want to see it for myself. You know, explore. Like you. And that brings chapter one to a close. So, until next time, everybody. You all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Do you have a new dialogue? Some rumor monger told me you guys defeated Hooktail. That's a joke, right? What? It's true! No way! I figured she was gonna crumple you up and throw you in a trash can! I'll crumple you, bitch! <laughs>